Okay, we're going to go to some basic footwork for boxing. So we get our feet slightly more than hip distance apart. We get slightly on our toes. So again, when we're moving forward, the front foot leads and the back foot drags. When we're moving backwards, the back foot leads and the front foot drags. And when we're moving to the left, we use our left foot as an indicator. Left foot, right foot drags. And we're moving to the right, we use our right foot as an indicator and the left foot drags. So that's back, forward, side to side. And again, as you get better, you can speed that movement up. So that's your basic footwork for boxing. Now to a basic guard for a boxer. So we're, we're talking a right-handed fighter, which is a boxer which leads with his left hand. So again, for, for that, we're going to bring a, a right hand up into the rib cage. Just feel it there. Close the fist and just a slight tilt on it into the jaw. So then we raise the left hand and we bring that just above, just to the island, just on the island, just above the nose. And again, we feel that on the rib cage here as well. We just tuck in the chin into the chest. So as you can see, that's a basic stance. And we get a slight tilt on the hand as well. So that's your basic defense for boxing. Okay, so now we're going to go through with our basic jab and our right cross. So again, we have our def defense and we have our footwork correct. So when we're throwing our jab, we just push it out all the way, jab. Jab. We want more power, we just push out that knee. Jab. 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 For the right cross, we throw the back knee, the power that will come from the hips. One. One. And we get that torn and extension. One. 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 So again, it's coming from our hip, and we turn the neck. That's our basic right cross. Okay, now we're going to work on our upper cuts. And again, we're an orthodox fighter, so we lead with the left hand. So again, just to give you an idea, we're working on our left upper cut. Just bend the left knee, and bring it up. We go just a little motion down, and up. And pushing up off the top, up. We're from the right upper cut, we come up from the down, and above the right foot, up off the top. That's a right upper cut, right upper cut, right upper cut, right upper cut. And the left upper cut, now left upper cut, left upper cut, left upper cut, right upper cut. Go to a left hook and a right hook. So again, we have a basic stance. So we, when we throw a left hook, we get the tone and we throw the top. Left hook, and we end the wrist. Whoa. On the wrist, walk, turn. That's left hook, left hook, left hook. Left hook, we get the hot knee, the power turn. Then we go for the right hook, we turn the right knee, and bring the toe over. Right hook, right hook, left hook, right hook. We're going to go into a double jab, right hand, moving backwards and forwards. Jab, jab, right hand. Jab, jab, right hand. Jab, jab, right hand. Jab, jab, right hand. So again, we go a side move, we're gonna. Double jab, right hand. Double jab, right hand. And we're going backwards. Double jab, right hand. Double jab, right hand. Double jab, right over, cook, move backwards and forward. Double jab, right over. Double jab, Right up. Going forward, double jab, right up, cut, move backwards. Double jab, right up. That's double jab, right up. I'm going to throw the left jab, right cross, left hook. So left jab, right cross, turn it left hook. Left jab, right cross, turn it left hook. Left jab, right cross, turn it left hook. And move forward with it. Move back with forward hook. And that's your one, two, left hook. Okay, so we're going to go some basic defense work. So we're going to block, we're going to block with palsy hands. So we'll have to throw to the left. I parry with the right. When you throw to the right, I parry with the left. Go. And you throw to the body, or you have the option, right hand to the body, you push it off, or right hand to the body, you push it away. 
Then the left hand to the body, carry it off, or push it away. Also, we can keep his hand so you don't throw the right hook at Patrick's chin. He blocks your foot. Right hook, block the foot. We throw the left hook. He gets his hand up, block the foot. If we throw the right upward foot to his body, excellent. We throw the left upward foot, excellent. That's your basic blocks in boxing. We're going to go for basic head movements and slips. So just to give you an idea, if we're slipping to the left, we can just slip down to our left knee with our, with our left arm. If we're slipping to the right, we go the opposite way. That just gets you an idea of how to slip, 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 slip. That's your basic way to learn to slip. We also have a sway back where we just sway back like that, sway, and we look, drop forward. And we've also where we have to just a little dip. We just dip our hands just to our knees, and that's our slip. Slip, 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 sway, forward, drop. That's your basic ducks and slips and drops. Okay, now we're going to do basic side steps and pivot movements. So we're pivoting to the left. You swing your right foot around. If we're pivoting to the right, we swing the right foot around. If we're making a side step, we step across to the side. If we're making a side step to the left, we step across to the left side. Now we'll go all through these when I'm boxing as well, but assume we're going to throw a wall to pivot left hook, jab, jab, pivot right hook, jab, step off, right hand side step. Jab, step off, right hand side step. Step left, left hook. Touch your basics, pivots and steps. We're going to incorporate a couple of side movements and pivots. Okay, so we're going to go double jab, right hand, pivot left hook, one tail. So that's double jab, right hand, pivot left hook, one tail. Double jab, right hand, pivot left hook, one tail. They can be used going backwards and forwards. We're going to continue with pivots and side movements in the right. So we have double jab, pivot right hook. Double jab, pivot right hook. And we also have the double jab, side step right hand. Double jab, side step right hand. So we stay in motion. Double jab, side step right hand. We're going to incorporate some sweeping hooks and movements. So we go one, two, and step across, that's a sweep hook. One, two, step across, that would be a sweep hook. Also, we go into the right side. Double jab, step across, sweep right hook. Also, we can go jab, pivot right hook, sweep left uppercut. So that's jab, pivot right hook, sweep left uppercut. So that's your sweeps and hooks combined together. Some additional punches. So we also have now as a cork screw. Typical, like a jab, but comes up. Cork shoot. We also have a peak hook which just comes in there and down. Down on top of the hook. It's called a peak hook. Chopping down like a peak, that's a peak hook. Peak hook. Also we have an overhand right coming all the way over. And we can do that on the back foot as well. It's a drop down where the whole body comes down on top of it. So there are some additional shots that we can use also. Then we'll try a few counters off a left hand lead pointer, so he throws a jab, jab to the body, up to the head, right finish, we'll go again, jab to the body, stay down there, up to the head, right finish. I can also, we can throw the jab, I can slip, jab, slip, jab. Also, now he throws the right hand, I can go right hand to the body, left up to the head, right finish. So move in there, just move around so we can see this perfectly. He throws the right hand, right hand, left up, right finish. If he also throws the right hand, I can slip it, right through to the jaw. I can also increase that, throw it again, right to the body, left up the cup, right hand, finish. I'm going to demonstrate some counters against a right hand lead fighter. So he throws a straight right hand lead, and can slip in to the right hand cross. I can also slip that right to the body, left up to the head, right finish. Again, right to the body, left up to the head, right finish. If he throws a left hand, you can slip off that way, cross, right hand, slip, right hand, 
slip right back. Okay, and there, some count it on the left hand. Now the colour foil are off and now we're starting to do what we have to eat. We're going to put them off. That would be coming up where, so when you know it's exactly coming up the right, when you know the right, it's coming up the left. That's effectively how you cut off the foot. Okay, we're going to work on the counter from the center. So we're going to hold the center. We'll be a strategy to hold the center. Let's see if you build it around. We're going to hold the center. We're going to do that. So keep the toe up the gap. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to hold the right hand. I'm going to sit there. Let's keep the center. I don't want to keep on the front of the center. That would be holding the center. Also, we would have, if we went over the box off center, so we would come in that, we would have to put it in the If you come in the first hand, we would have to put it in the middle of the road. So we would have to put it in the middle of the center, but the box would be on the feet. So that would be another strategy for boxes. So we would have our off center, holding the center, and again, as we talked before, you would have a pressurized foot pressure where you would cut off the feet. So there's three strategies to work on for boxing technique. Okay, so now we're going to a pad head. We're just going to drop to a few shots. Stub it down. Right hand. Now we're going to drop the head right hand back. Now we're going to bring a right hand down to the right hand. Excellent. We're going to go one, two, left, two, four. We're going to go jab, side step, right hand. Again. Let me put safe because you stop again. One, two, pivot, left, cut. Four, one, two, left, uppercut, right hand. Excellent, we knew we're back. Now let's see the jab. Let's see the top jab. Jab, right hand down the stairs, left foot to the chin. That's it, I'm going to teach you how to right hand cross in that seat. Four, single jab. Nice control, you go jab, right hand over the top. Good. All the way straight over now, and leave them. Nice control, slow. Slow, slow, slow. And the last one. Excellent. That's how we do a pad workout. We're going to go to a full abdominal workout, which consists of your transverse, which is a muscle that keeps them all together in the back of them. Then you have your lower, upper abs, and your obliques. So we set off the lower abdominals, or we get the hips up. And that's it, you can do a couple of sets of 10, 15, 20 then, or whatever level you feel you're at. You have a couple of bubbles. We have obliques. Very good idea to breathe out and exertion on all these exercises. And the last one we would have a transverse of bubbles, but we just hold back like that. If you feel good, you can let the legs go or bring the legs into the air. Again, you can bring them away or down. And that will be consistent of your lower, upper, oblique, and your transverse abdominal. A good overall workout on the stomach.